Watch how far you can throw these things. Look at that. I'm freaking Superman. What's up, my immune friends? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival, where we survive during the mist, not during the mist, nighttime, daytime, it matters not. We survive. It's what we do. All right, first of all, you guys gave me a great idea on what to do with this second barn. Check it out. It's a freaking garage. Now, we have a problem here. Okay, uh, and I'm going to ignore the problem, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. This thing, this thing backs up really, really slowly, right? And you might think, well, that's not going to, you're not going to be able to back out of there with those on there, right? Yeah, not so much. It doesn't really matter, apparently. Um, we can back out of here. And we can drive into here. It's, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter if you have something in the back that's too high, I guess. I don't know. But... It just, we back up so slow, man. It's like I'm backing up a freaking semi-truck or something. Um, so that's kind of annoying, but you know what? Uh, you guys, this, this was a great idea. I love the idea so much. We're going to kind of deal with it. And I'm also going to put a few lockers in here, and that's where we're going to store our car parts. I'd like to build some other stuff in here, but what other kind of things do you think I would build in here, like, that says a garage, right? Like, I don't, I don't really think any of this stuff says garage to me. Well, I guess we'll put the generator in here. And we'll put it right here because we want the generator towards the middle of the uh, compound. So we could put a generator in there. That, that says garage. Um, I'm not sure what else. Maybe we'll put the stump in there. I don't know. What else? What do you think, guys? What says garage? I don't know. Anyway, uh, what else are we going to be doing today? Okay. We are going... I'm going to be showing you my organizational skills. My excellent, unbelievably uh, super... That's my superpower. I don't know if you guys know this. But I'm actually a superhero. And my superhero talent is organization skills. Okay. And I'm going to show you that today. All right. We're also going to make another set of living quarters. I know we have three living quarters and we only need three living quarters. But I think we're going to make another set of living quarters. And I might actually make a third one too. Um... Because I want my own living quarters. I don't want to live in the workshop. Yeah, right? That's the workshop. I think we kind of want to move out of there and have our own uh, place to live. What do you think about that, Scott? See, Scott agrees. He's a he's a man of few words. Uh, what else? We're also going to go to that cabin over there and get the lights and the uh, the, the, the water container theme of Bob that I was talking about. And uh, we're also going to be doing a secret thing at the end of the video. And it's not such a secret if you saw the thumbnail. Okay, thumbnail's a spoiler. All right, well, whatever. We're going to do that at the end of the video, too. All right, so let's get started. Okay, show my organizational skills. Let's do this. All right, so um, I put this by my bed. This is where I'm going to put my weapons. And over here, I'm going to put armor eventually. All right. Up here is, um, I don't know, miscellaneous crap, I guess. Uh, this is um, sewing kits. This is uh, towels. <laughs> this is rags when I get out of the shower. Kind of come over here and grab some rags. Um, these are the metal scraps. Well, Cage, you didn't really get that many metal scraps, right? Well, hold on a sec. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And we have a whole full set of components as well. All right. Yeah, you've already seen that. You've seen that. All right. You've seen that. Uh, this is food and healing items. And this is, uh, also healing items. Uh, I need these bottles to make the booze and I need the booze to make healing items. So that's the idea. Probably get the sugar. Well, I guess the sugar is used for healing items. So... Um, over here we have our wood, we have tools, uh, we have kind of stuff I haven't sorted yet, and then we have more tools, and I'm going to consider the mortar and pestle tools, right? Alright, so, uh, what else are we going to do? Let's go ahead and have some breakfast. Uh, don't worry, Bobby, don't worry. You are perfectly safe, we will not be having you for breakfast this day. Um, at some point we have to make another chicken coop. Uh, I, I didn't really think about making chicken coops because they were bugged in my last game, but apparently they're working again, so we do want to make some chicken coops um, at some point. So, all right, so let's do this. We want to make a new living quarters. Okay, so I wanted all my all my guys, my boys and my girls, to be living in the same area, like kind of like a residential area, right? And there's one right here and there's one right here, but this one over here really didn't really fit. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I'll leave it up because I'll use it for something at some point. But I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. It's not going to be a living quarters. I'm going to make another um, living quarters area right here. All right. And then that way this will be like, uh, you know, where everybody lives. Now I'll live somewhere separate because I'm the man. Um, I don't know. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll maybe I'll kind of live with these guys as well in the same area. I haven't really decided where my living quarters is going to be. Uh, but I'll have to think about that. I mean, I really should live with the people, right? They're going to think I'm all conceited and stuff. I don't live with them. Boy, that doesn't line up. 
Now, these aren't going to line up exactly the way I want them to. But I think that uh, will do. Maybe. Yes, no, maybe so. All right. So let's go get some nails. Let's get some components. Let's get some wood. And let's get a hammer. Let's build this sucker. Oh, boy, the mist. All right. Well, let's get some action in this episode, right? Gonna deal with the Oh, look at that guy. Huh? Now, where am I going to go for these guys? I usually stand on top of my... Oh, you scared the crap out of me, Scott. Seriously. All right, let's get up here. Come on, get up there, you jackass. There we go. All right, uh, let's go ahead and have a drink while we wait for some uh, zombies to come in here. I don't even know if they're going to come in here. That's one bad thing about having the truck in here. I like to stand on it for the mist, and I'm not going to be able to do that in this kind of situation. So, all right, let's go ahead and take a little nap to kind of... Whenever you go to sleep, that like basically tells the uh, the infected where you are. Um, that was a way for the, for the developer to make it so you couldn't just, like, sleep through the mist. And, of course, I use it to, um, to get the zombies to come in so I can kill them and, uh, take their awesome, awesome salt. Yeah, I might have to build something outside for the mist. You know, can they, can they crawl in through the windows? Eh. I'm wondering if they can crawl in through the windows of the, um, sheds I'm building. I think they might be able to. I'm, I'm not going to test it now, but we're going to, we want to make a infection killing an infected killing like trap thing out here at some point uh although i guess we could do that on the walls when we make the walls but yeah we definitely want to do that at some point so let's go ahead and finish this up and i purposely didn't save the game uh during the mist because i might have to reload this if this thing doesn't line up properly or if it bothers me enough i might have to reload it i'm not really sure we'll just kind of have to wait and see um these things can look like oh Okay. Uh, wait, how many did it take? I didn't see how many it took. I, I thought it only took a few. Oh, it takes five. Okay. All right. We got to be careful how many of these we make then. Because, you know, just because I have a lot of components right now doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't mean I'm always going to have a lot of components. Components are, uh, although components are the cheaper thing to make. So that is cool. I can make components relatively cheaply. So come on. What am I missing? There we go. <laughs> I was in the wrong spot. All right, so is that lined up? Oh, yeah, that's lined up just fine. That's lined up just fine. Okay, so we'll come right here, and this will be Scott's house. There you go. Uh, building uh, manager, check person, floor. Oh, it doesn't need a bed or something. Check mark person permission to enter the shelter. So I think you need a bed, and then I think you can make this his... Well, I can make this my active base. And now he's in there. Well, he just came out. And I think there's a... I guess he will... See, when I was at the when I was at the White House, I could choose different rooms for different people. I'm wondering if I can't choose... You know what? I'm not going to be able to put a different person in each one of these, am I? Actually, wait a minute. No, make this your active home. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so... I don't think I'm going to be able to force people to sleep in each one of these separately. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably still put beds in there and just roleplay the fact that they're sleeping in there. Even though they might not be. So, yeah, what are you going to do? Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pass the night. Okay, guys, I went up to that cabin and I grabbed all of the things. That is just awesome. And by the way, when I took a bunch of stuff out of the back of the truck, I took all the um, I took all the lockers out of the back of the truck, and the truck backed up okay after that. So I'm not really sure, um, you know, what the deal is with that. But, you know, we'll have to kind of mess around with it. It's going to be nice to have some lights here. So that's cool. We definitely have to work on that generator. I'll probably do that next episode. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll do that next episode. I think that'd be a good idea. We're not going to do it this episode. We're going to be busy this episode making bullets. That's... Oh, oh, I spoiled it. I spoiled it. I know none of you guys looked at the thumbnail, right? You wouldn't look at the thumbnail, right? Nah. Who looks at thumbnails these days, right? This is uh, YouTube 2019. Nobody's looking at thumbnails. Yeah, well, okay. We're going to make the ammo bench, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Who knows, right? Um, I probably named the episode ammo bench. I haven't decided yet. Um, probably name it making bullets or something like that. All right, so how do we want to deal with this? I think we're going to put this on top, right? We'll put this on top. I think that's our only option here. Uh, pretty good. But not quite the way I want it. Right? Nope, a little farther back. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Let's turn it a little bit. Mm. It's pretty freaking close. Mouse wheel in to bring it closer to me. Come on. 
Ah, whatever, I'll do it off camera. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that, right? All right, so we got everything back. Let's go ahead and park this in the garage because that's where it goes. It goes in the garage, right? Right? Right. And hopefully I could put more uh, lockers in the back of without without that, with you, without it, you know, backing up slowly. Because like I said, when I took the lockers out, it was fine. So hopefully that was just a one-time bug and it won't continue being an issue, but eh, you never know. You never know. Alrighty, so uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and make ourselves an ammo bench. I know what you're saying, moon, moonshine still. Yes, we will get to that. But the ammo bench, I think, is more needed right now. Reloading bench. All right, so we're going to need four gears. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Isn't that like 16 low-quality metal? Yep. Oh, boy. That's a spicy meat the ball. All right, well, then we don't have any. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, normally, okay, so here's the thing. Components are easier to make than scrap metal. But I have extra scrap metal. What am I to do? Honestly, I think I'm gonna... Actually, that's easy. No, these are easier to make, so... I kind of want to do the components, right? Because they're just easier to make. So... But the thing is, I'm low on them. Uh, so how many do you need? 16? What is this, 4? I think 2 sets of 8 should be plenty. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick with my gut, and I'm gonna use the components because even though I have more of the metal scrap, the components are usually to make, and that's it. That's that's that. That is that. So this should make uh, four. Oh, that only makes four. That's right. So we're gonna need another stack. Oh boy. Oh boy. I mean, we're really getting low on those. Ugh. Maybe I'll use one stack of these. Yeah, I'll use one stack. We're going to use the metal scraps anyway. The thing is, we're going to need the components because the components, what the components make, for those of you who don't know, is this this uh, livestock fence. And I love me some livestock fence. So I really, really want to save as much as I can. But that will be enough for what we're going to do here. Melt, melt, melt. By the way, the sledgehammer, I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe it's better than I remember it being, but man, it's 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 too much. It's too much. It want, they want 10 iron ingots and for low quality metal all right the axe does the same thing albeit slower and you don't have to use the 10 iron nah you know what nah nah no absolutely not um let me know in the comments if i'm wrong about that i you know i'll probably make a sledgehammer at some point anyway just to, just to see but damn that's expensive that is hella hella expensive you know, guys, I'm looking through all the recipes, and honestly, components are needed a lot more. I don't remember what the hell I needed so much scrap metal for. Everything is like 20 components, right? Even the ones that take scrap metal take a lot less. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's actually pretty good, since components are cheaper. You know what? Let's make some components. Why not? That should be pretty fun. All right, so we're going to take all... I think, when, I think at some point, probably in the next couple videos, we're going to have to go back to the mine. Um, so... And I have to. I want to, though. All right, so let's go ahead and make some more components. Uh, how many? Let's make... F let's make eight. Why not? Okay. There we go. So we still have a good amount of stuff left. Should be plenty. Scott, go ahead and make that. All right, so where are we going to put the ammo bench? Well, it's going to go in here. Um, I'm going to move the bed out of the way. You know what? Why don't we take the bed... And why don't we move it into the area over here. And we'll call this our, our home for the time being. Whoops. Maybe we could put the bed on the roof. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, so we got to turn this sucker. Will this go in, actually? Even if I turn it? That's a good question. Oh, you're killing me, game. Killing me. Damn it. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. So this will be our our place to live. I think, I think that'll work. That works. All right, and we're going to put the ammo bench pretty much where that bed was. I feel pretty safe coming out here. Relatively safe. So I don't mind not sleeping in here. Oh, we need to move that in there as well. I'll do that later. Watch how far you can throw these things. Look at that. I'm freaking Superman. I mean, right? That's my second superpower. I, my, my first superpower is unbelievable organization skills organizing stuff in a single bound or I don't know something like that um and my second one is throwing stuff really far 
like Nolan Ryan or something. All right, uh, yeah, let's let's try and stay focused, Cage. All right, so let's come over here, and let's go to building. And it was in here, right? Yep, there we go. The reloading bench. The repair bench, last time I looked at it, was a complete waste of time. And the reason it was a waste of time was because repairing stuff was more expensive than actually crafting a new item. So uh, he might have fixed it since then. I'll take a look at it, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm also going to try and use tools that are damaged so I can start using up tools that are damaged. So there's one saw. The rest of my saws are 100%. So you want to make sure the saw you want to use first has to be closest to the top left. So you use that one up. And let's go ahead and do this. And we're just waiting for those gears now, boys and girls. Let's go see how those gears are doing. Well, not the gears, but this stuff. Uh, yep, all done. All right. I will make the gears myself. Oh, you can actually make something with him and it'll pass the time even quicker. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Nope, I'm not doing it. Come on, proceed, fool. Damn. What the hell's your problem, bro? Oh, that was only one cage. You need four. Or, wait. Ooh, I didn't even make enough iron. Or did I? No, I didn't. That was editing. <laughs> <laughs> As if you couldn't tell. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this sucker together and let's make ourselves some ammo. I'm not finding as much ammo out in the world as I as I did, be, you know, in past uh, iterations of the game. So, you know, that's fine. We're going to have to craft some. And I think we want to make rifle ammo. Now, we can make 7.62. We need a snipe rifle for that. And we don't have one, so there's that. So, let's come on up here and let's grab the... We, st we still don't have a shift click option, man. That's got to... That's got to happen. Now, be careful, guys, when you're using the mortar and pestle. I'm telling you right now, if the mortar and pestle gets destroyed while you're crafting, you will lose all of the resources you are using to craft, okay? D don't test me on this. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about, okay? It happened to me. So, let's go ahead and make some gunpowder. Uh, we gotta, yeah, we gotta do this first. So, keep an eye on the durability. Where is the, um, there it is. See, there's, there goes durability. You want to make sure that's not going to break in the middle of crafting. Okay, seems to be okay, though. Okay, another eight of the salt pepper. Salt peter. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. Okay, cool. Oh, boy. We got some zombies. Oh. We're not, um... We're not really protected over here. Um, are we prote we, uh, Yeah, we're not really protected up here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, like I said, we have to set up a uh, some kind of thing where we could farm these guys. Although, that's not going to be... T hey, can we get on the top of one of our buildings? Maybe. Come on. There we go. Cool. All right. Well, there you go. We can farm them right here for now. I'd still like to have a better spot to farm them, but this'll do. There we go. Our first customers of the day. Where you going, bro? Why are you going over here? Get out of there. Are you kidding me? Can I close the door on them and trap them in there? Can they get out of there? I really don't want to test it, but I kind of have to, don't I? Yep, they're trapped. Wow, I got my—I trapped my very own. Oh, they're trying to kill Scott. Okay. Scott's gonna open that door, isn't he? Okay, chump. That's what you get. Scott, stay in there, buddy. Thank God he can't die, right? All right. Well, let's continue passing the night, and I'm gonna farm these suckers. Come on. He can't. He should not be able to get in there now. So it doesn't look like they can climb in through the windows. I thought they could. All right, I don't know the angle on him. Because he's trying to kill Scott. No, I could shoot him in the body. Nope. No, I can't. Shoot him in the butt. There we go. Shoot him in the butt twice. That's right. 
I know how to slay zombies. Man, I don't know if we got these zombies all riled up, man, but I I shot so many of them I ran out of freaking arrows. So ran back in here, and I think we're gonna make some gunpowder while we wait. How's that sound? So we're gonna make gunpowder, we're gonna need charcoal. So let's go ahead and grab some charcoal. And it is charcoal, right? Yes. Alright, and we're gonna make uh, this one at a time so we don't use too much uh, durability off this thing and lose what you're, what we're making. Oh, wait. Oh, you don't need it! You don't... Oh, that's cool. So you don't need... That's kind of weird, but I guess the idea is that you grind stuff down. So if you're not grinding stuff down, you're just mixing it. So you don't really need this for the, um, for the gunpowder. So that's pretty neat. Alright, let's go ahead and make some gunpowder then. There we go. Got, what, uh, 12, uh, 16 rounds worth of gunpowder. That's nice. And I think we have some gunpowder in here as well that we looted. And we should probably loot the zombies as well because sometimes they drop gunpowder. Alright, let's see what we got out here. Poor Scott. He's probably terrified. Look what I did for you, Scott. Look at all these guys I killed for you. Look at all these arrows that are here. Get out of the way, Scott. Seriously, go. I'm gonna blast you. Scott, for frig's sake, man, go! Really? You're just gonna stand there, huh? Thank you, douchebag. <laughs> Alright, well, that was, um... It's pretty good. I don't think I got any gunpowder out of it, but... I did get a, um... I don't know, a lot of the other things. Did I get any salt? Yeah, I got some salt. That's the main thing. So, that is awesome. That is freaking awesome. That's right, guys. We have to come back to the mine. Of course we have to come back to the mine. We uh, crafted up all our ingots. We, um, well, we took all our ores and we crafted them into ingots. And what that meant is we couldn't get brass. And we need brass to make bullet casing. So we have to come back here. Um, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, sometimes it's just the way it is. Uh, so I'm going to mine in here for a little bit. But I'm going to show you how awesome that whoever was that told me to... Bring a mortar and pestle and grind stuff down while you're mining. I mean, just, you know, I mean, just, mwah, just a stroke of genius. Really, really good. Really good. Because you get some, you know, you get some of this stuff. You got to break it down anyway, eventually. So if you need some stamina, you just go ahead and break it down. No need to craft chairs. So that is freaking awesome. So in order to make the brass, we need zinc and copper. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get to, you know, I probably should have saw I probably should have looked at how much I'm going to need before I left my base, but I'm in such a hurry that I did not do that. So, you know, hopefully I'll make enough, but uh, we are going to make some bullets today one way or another. So um, let me do some mining here and I will see you back at base. Oh yeah. What is that? Iron. Hells yeah. All right, guys, I've got quite a bit of materials on me now. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. You're going to put, I think, two copper for one zinc, right? I'm pretty sure. And that's only going to give us two brass, huh? Well, hopefully that's enough. Um, oh, you know what? I have enough uh, two copper for one zinc. Uh, no, you know what? I don't have enough for another one. Now, see, zero. I would need more copper. Now, well, I'm going to actually... Oh, is it done? Oh, it's instant. That's kind of weird <laughs> that it was instant. Um, no, I guess I might as well take everything. I'm going to leave this water here for emergencies in case I forget to bring water. I'm going to leave the gold here because as far as I know, gold is not used for anything. I'll probably eventually throw it away. Um, and I'm going to take this iron back home with me. All right, guys, we are back at base. And, um, like I said, I only have two things of brass. I hope that's going to be enough. How's the backing up? So the backing up is working well. Thank goodness. Um, I do have four, uh... Four whoozy what's it's in the back of this thing. Four of the lockers. Um, although they're kind of bugging out on me, I guess. But, you know, I don't really understand why sometimes it backs up okay and sometimes it doesn't. But, you know, we'll see what we can figure out. I'm going to leave those right there. And we're going to come over here and we are going to make some brass casings. I need the 5 Cal 45 or something like that. I don't know what they're called. Let's see. Yeah, I need the Cal 5. Uh, I said exactly what it was. Um, we also need some low, uh, some low quality metal ingots. Which is fine. I'll take a nap while that cooks up. Um, we're going to go ahead and just continue using these, I guess. Now nah, we need a lot of those. I'm going to... I just don't want to craft these, you know? That's a thing. I don't really know which one I'm going to use. I guess I'm going to use... I'm going to use some of these to hell with it. I mean, it's not like those are super expensive. They just take a little bit more iron than the other ones. Um, take two iron ingots, which is pretty friggin' expensive, to be honest. Pretty friggin' expensive. You know what? 
Nah, screw that. We're going to keep that for now. And we're going to cook this up. Because it's it's just so much cheaper, you know? Alright, so why don't you go in there? It's not it's gonna be a little bit more than we need, but that's okay. And I'm gonna take a nap at my base. No, oh, I was just about to turn off the timer and I was like, oh wait, I already did that. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a nap for let's sleep a couple hours. My fatigue's actually been pretty low for the whole night because I didn't sleep at all. So Alright, there we go. And let's come out of here. That should be done. And then we're gonna go ahead and make the bullet casings ourselves because we can't be bothered waiting for Scott. And his slow ass. Uh, so there we go. And yep, we only need one. So that's awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to make... Man, we should make another one. Yep, there we go. All right. All right, so the brass is going well. So it's 32. Wait, did it use it? Yeah, it did. It just didn't update. Yep, there we go. All right, so it's 32 rounds for two brass. Eh, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, so let's come in here and let's grab this. And I think that's all we need, right? I don't think you need anything for the bullet tips. So, there we go. Let's make as much rifle ammo as we can. Beautiful. Okay, guys, and there you go. 21 rounds of rifle ammo. It's pretty slow, I'm not going to lie. Um, I might have to stream this this world at some point and go in there and just, like, really hit those... Uh, um, you know, go, go in there and just, and just go ham in the uh in the caves and just get as much done as i can because um my goodness it's gonna take it's gonna take a decent amount of grinding it's not exactly hard it's just gonna be time consuming so anyway guys we are gonna call this one here if you never joined the video please remember to uncage that like button also if you're new here please subscribe for more daily videos thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time and until then take it easy